Hey everybody, welcome back to Mr. Clixo's YouTube channel. It is time for another Hero Clix update. So, you're ready. I'm ready. It's update time. Let's go. Alright guys, so welcome back. Here we go with another Hero Clicks update. Now this one is going to be 2.5. The feedback. Now they do, they're always watching. Uh, they're always listening. Whether it's YouTube, you uh, Facebook, or Twitter, wherever else. They do listen to you guys. They do listen to all the concerns. So this is going to be the article of them letting you know any type of clarity. So like I talked about before. Uh, yes, we just don't know on the rulings on how they're going to address these uh, as far as coming out with the new designs. They actually did come out with the feedback. So right over there is going to be all the social media links you can definitely find me in, including my monthly Patreon. Now, my monthly Patreon does have some awesome swag that you can actually choose from, from different tiers, as well as we have monthly giveaways. We are, we're, I think, one day away or two days away from doing our next giveaway. So definitely check it out. All those links, including the WizKids links, will be down below in the description. Definitely check it out. Now, to start this thing out, they says, Hero Clicks fans! <laughs> uh, we appreciate that everyone had such strong feelings about Hero Clicks and are excited to work with the community to improve our plans. Now, this week's rules articles have been some of the most discussed Hero Clicks topics in recent memory, of course, because it's changing a lot of the landscapes, in a sense. Uh, our intent was to begin our explanation of the rule changes with what we believe are the biggest changes coming to Hero Clicks. So, right there, uh, that article, let's jump right into uh, in on pushing damage. Now, they do address what was pushing damage because uh, it's going to slightly help out the people who are competitive, the people who were here before, but um, they want to just make it all around and, you know, just help out the new players. That's what pretty much this they were just talking about uh the other one i did want to address was a, a highlighted version right there which is given the amount of feedback we're receiving and the fact that utilizing changes in a dial is intrinsic to hero clicks in the future will uh absolutely ensure that we are designing figures in future sets uh that explicitly explicitly have self-damaging abilities to allow players to pivot through their abilities now they understand that when they said no pu more pushing damage, Immortal Hulk, um, armor, and other figures that needed to push onto the second click, weren't really doing that because well, weren't ever going to do any more because of the pushing damage is pretty much obsolete. Um, so because of that, WizKids came out and they are they wrote this article and they actually have an errata now. Now we are, uh, they actually stated that we also want to put some players minds at ease to see some of the changes we're implementing and provide an errata to two characters who uh, need to keep the uh, pushing damage. Now I'll talk about it right now, but they're also saying that we, that they may add some figures along the way because I believe it's called activation click. So they, these are going to be the two to start because of the addressed reasons, but they're going to add more figures. Now, the figures that are coming out in the new set where they have activation clicks or they're going to go on to another click, they're going to have this type of trait, which is going to be like this. So, if C, which is character, is on a starting click and given an action token, after resolutions, you may deal one unavoidable damage. Now, Immortal Hulk says if, if it's on a starting click action token after resolutions, you may deal it one unavoidable damage. Now, um, that looks like it's going to be the errata to where the future sets where they're going to be dealing self damage. That's going to be a trait on there. So they're going to give it a regular name trait on there like Hulk smash or something. But they're going to have that. They're going to have that unavoidable damage. So don't worry about it. It. They're addressing the uh, pushing damage. They're going to see what they can come out with. But yes, like I talked about before, uh, this is not set in stone yet because the one Roman set's not out yet. So Now that small little article, characters with Colossal Stamina have the same gameplay as Colossal Stamina from the 2017 core rules and pack. 
So it's kind of weird because these erratas will be on the Heroclix rules forum for reference in the future. So fans don't need to track down this article now. I believe Colossal Stamina because they're changing the name to Giant Size that they're going to have willpower as well. So willpower is going to jump into the fray and they can roll a d6 on a 3 to 6. Then they can take away an action token. That's just the way I'm looking at it right now. So Colossal Stamina is going to be pretty much the same thing. So... Batman can use Colossal Stamina. Um, they can, he can still use Colossal Stamina. So again, most are you talking about right now? Diving into the topic of bench powers. Now, this whole thing is going to be talking about that they're going to be designing figures in the future, possibly one one set or more after that. But they're going to be designing figures regarding the bench powers. Now, I think there's 14 powers in general that they benched. But doesn't mean the fact that your older clicks, your Billy Bats and your other figures that uh, they can't use Perplex, um, they can't use, you know, uh, Leap Climb. No, whatever's on their powers you can use. Now, they're talking about the design figures from the other set, that, uh, from the new sets that they're, that they're benching. So just making sure you guys understand that. They did address it right over here. So it says right... Uh, also important is that some players have reacted as their existing characters with these abilities won't have them any longer. That isn't the case. Characters that have Perplex on their dial or in their tray will still be able to utilize it. We're trying to keep sets fresh and new for all players and rotating mechanics in it out of modern helps in this goal. So... Their goal in mind is players in general, like the new ones to the active players. So, you know, we'll see. Again, guys, again, I just want to address this one more time. We are, we as Heroclix players and Heroclix, you know, community have always adapted to new rules and new things that WizKids have come out with. So we're going to adapt to this 100%. So I'm not worrying about this at all. You know, we're going to adapt to this a lot better. Um, but I do want to say, with Power Cosmic, gives you willpower. So that means in bronze, Unimind just got better. <laughs> now, before we dive into the brand new figures that are coming out for the Wonder Woman set, thank you so much to Hero Clays for previewing these three figures. Um, they actually sent out this last sentence, which says, said, thank you again for your trust and patience, and we look forward to hearing additional feedback on the upcoming information, starting again on Monday. So we're going to have some more articles coming out on Monday. Um, but any comments as, as regarding the... Uh, the last two videos that I had, and this one as well too, let me know in the comment section below any questions you guys have, any concerns you guys have, just make sure you're being a little bit nice. <laughs> but yes, let me know in the comment section below. And also, let me know in the comment section below if you, if you like these figures. Alright, so I hope the zoomed in version looks a lot better. Now this one says, Wonder Woman, Amazon, Justice League, Justice Society, yes. Uh, past soldier and warrior in set number 17 uncommon she is diane the secret identity wow that is really really cool uh champion of themiscira lasso of truth when wow wonder woman may start the game with any wonder woman equipment oh man equipped wow that's really, really cool. I absolutely love that. Now, if Wonder Woman is equipped with Lasso of Truth, set number 00, uh, S002, um, when using it, uh, its capacity, incapacitate, all hit targets can't use damage powers until your next turn. Oh, man, no more prob. That is really, really cool. Now, she has charge, sidestep, toughness, super senses, close combat expert, and she has the Wonder Woman team ability, which is super senses, but succeeds on a six. If the character uh, can already use super senses, uh, increase... Okay, so it's pretty much like the scroll, so you increase the result by one. So if she can use super senses, then like on the last two clicks, or if she comes out through a secret identity, she gets... Four, five, or six. Pretty good, huh? <laughs> or five or six, because a six for her ability. 
Now check that out guys, Donna Troy, set number 31A, look at that, uh, six clicks long, uh, Amazon, Teen Titans, Warrior, Donna Troy, wow, that is really, really cool. Now she doesn't have secret identity, but this is really cool. Now she has another one called Champion, or she has the same one, Champion of Themyscira. I actually like the way that these traits actually are, especially for an uncommon figure. Usually we see these in like super rares or even chases. So this is actually really cool. Now with her, it, it, it's the same kind of trait on the very top part, but the bottom part is if Donna Troy is equipped with Wonder Woman set, uh, set number S005 uh, bracelets, when she is targeted by a range attack, increase the result of her super senses roll by an additional plus one. Now she has the Wonder Woman trait. So if she can use super senses, it's plus two. That's really cool. Absolutely amazing. She does have the Teen Titans, uh, the Titans team ability. Uh, she's an adjacent friendly character that can use this team ability and heal that character one click. If you uh, roll a D6 on a four through on a one through four, you D, uh, that character is dealt one unavoidable damage. She has another trait called uh, Titans Reborn. Uh, when Donna Troy is given a move action after resolution, she can use the Titans team ability as a free. Pretty cool. <laughs> Now she has charge, she's got sidestep, quake, invulnerability. She has indomitable. <laughs> Just kidding. Bad David. <laughs> um, super senses, empower, close combat experts. That's so really, really cool. Flight ability for 60 points. Outstanding figure, too. So far, really cool. Look at that amazing Mary, uh, Mary Shazam. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. Look at that sculpt. Now, it says Mary Batson, uh, Fawcett's, uh, Fawcett City. If I'm saying it wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, Justice League Mystical, uh, set number 50, a super rare. Super rare. <laughs> Um, to protect my family. Now, before that, look at that, 75 points, and look at that dial. Oh, man, impervious, wow. Um, to protect my family, defend. When a uh, friendly character within range and line of fire would be targeted by an attack, you may roll a d6. On a four through six, place Mary Shazam adjacent to that character uh, and she becomes the target of the attack, even if it would be illegal. Oh, man. That is awesome. So she's going to have defend. Everyone's going to have 18 defense. Not only that, when a friendly character is within range of line of fire, would be targeted uh, by, a, by an attack. Well, you may roll a d6. So if I can see someone and they roll a d6 and I roll and I get it, I get a player, a placer adjacent to that character and then she becomes the hit target. Oh man, that is, that's really cool. That is really bonkers. And because even if it would be illegal, so you place her adjacent probably behind, that way that character can't see her. And if they roll and they miss, they can't prob it because she's me blocked. Oh, that is really cool. Really good job on that, WizKids. Um, long story short, we're all superheroes. That's true. We are all superheroes, especially nowadays. Now, this one's really cool. Charge, uh, but do not have speeds. So, Juggernaut, Mary Shazam. Oh, I can definitely see a nice little... Um, I forgot Pat said this. C -c -c Combo! <laughs> um... Her fist ability, her um, says Shazam. Uh, once per turn, when Mary Shazam hits an opposing character with a close attack, after resolution, she may use Quake as a free action, so she can run twelve squares away, and she can close combat you or close combat. Uh, she can hit you, and then when she hits you, she gets to Quake everybody. So let's say she runs up uh, to the top of the building she hits you well now she's gonna quake everybody and if they don't have any abilities to stop this knockback she's knocking back <laughs> really really cool now she has charge she has regular quake impervious invulnerability leadership and the mystics team ability which gives you one unavoidable damage that is really cool now they all their ability that's this is actually becoming an outstanding set i 
absolutely love it. All right, guys, so that is it for today's feedback video. Now, it's actually not as long as I expected, but we got some awesome feedback from WizKids, so we do know that they're listening. Now, right over there is going to be all the social media links. You can definitely find me, including my monthly Patreon. Now, we definitely have monthly giveaways, as well as some awesome swag for different tiers. Um, now, those links, as well as WizKids links, will be down below in the description. Definitely check it out. If you guys like my video, Give it a little thumbs up there. If you guys like my content I bring to you guys, subscribe right now. And always hit the post notifications bell icon. That way you guys are always notified when new videos like this or any other of my content videos come out. Always remember, guys, if you're going to roll virtually or physically, socially distance, always remember, if you're going to roll, you always, always roll a critical hit. All right, guys. I'll see you later.